Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and into this tutorial, we're trying to build our chatbot right with Rasa Co. in then Rasa NLU. So, as you already know what Rasa is, now let's see how to do that. So, the main idea to wake up is that we use the Rasa NLU natural language understanding to help us with entity S classification, entity extraction, and then internet classification, right? And then we use the core to help us to build with our dialogues, our actions, and several other stuff together. Okay, so let's see. Let me switch from my Jupyter notebook to Colab. So the reason I'm switching is because I need a faster processing. So I just go to your, your drive, normal, your normal drive, then you go to my drive, right? Then you just go to more here, then you choose here from connect more apps. So when you go to connect more apps, it's going to give you the option to add collaboratory. So which is very powerful. Okay, now let's see how it is. So this I just have already uploaded the data sets. You can just change the name as you want to upload your data sets and then your images and every stuff just go from collab uh, from google.colab import files then you upload that data right so i'm going to upload some stuff so i'll choose a file so i have some files i want to put there i want to put uh, this this and then this right so I'm going to load it and I'm going to tell you what it has uploaded, right? I'm going to save it inside your file with it. So these are all that it has saved. That is how to upload your data set. In the same way, you can use it to upload your data set too. Okay, perfect. So I'll be loading my images. And then we can start. So the main idea about see that is coming perfectly. This is how you can even use to upload any data set you want to email, right? To upload your data set. Okay, perfect. Now the main idea about how to build a chatbot is that you must create a story. You must create a story of how it's supposed to be just, just like when you're talking with a human being. So that it will be easier for it to understand it. So let me show you an example of what I mean. So something like this. For example, this is a bot and then this is a human being. So the human will just initiate it with a hi. The bot will reply with, hey, how are you? Then the human will say, maybe I'm good. Then the bot will reply with, cool. And then the human will tell you, tell him what he wants. So I want to buy an iPhone as an example. Then which type of iPhone? Then I want iPhone X. Then here are some suggestions. Something simple like that, right? That is how human beings talk. So I'm trying to simulate a story like this with intent, with, with everything that is necessary, with intent, with actions, to able to enable the but to be able to understand it okay so let's go back to our collab so that's what we are going to do now so now first of all you can if you are running it straight away from the first time you will need to install these packages the rasa otherwise it's not going to work okay so you just go with this then click on this it's going to install it so pip install rasa core at least if you are running it for the first time then import login to log our warnings and information and all this stuff. I think I already have it so to tell me to install them in this. It has finished installing perfectly now. Nice. So the next thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to write a story. So what is the story going to consist about? Just like in the chat that we had, it had some actions, it had some intent, it had some stuff to do, right? So the main idea about the story when you are trying to write a story is going to be like this. You're going to start the story with this, right? And this to describe the story with this uh, hashtag double double hashtag and then the style is going to be used to help us to know that it's an intent you can design design it in any how you want but it's supposed to be consistent and the actions must start with a dash right that is how it's supposed to be okay so let's see how an example of how it is the actual form so this is how it is so we have scripted how the story is going to be we have a happy part so to just greet this is going to be our intention because it's starting the star and this is going to be the action that the bot is going to do. So the intention is by the human being. The this one is going to be by the bot, right? So that's how we have a, a good part, a happy part. We have a sad part. We have another one for pitch, buying something, right? So greet, other greet, mood, happy, confirm. You make the package. You confirm the price. You ask for the price. All of these things can be done with this. So you script them perfectly so that it becomes clear for you. So now let's save our data. Okay, now as that's already saved our data, now let's, the next thing we have to do is that we have gotten the story. We need a domain, we need an environment to 
play that story that is called the domain right so defining the domain means that the domain is going to be that the universe the environment is going to be so let me explain it better so after creating your story you have to create a domain right so the domain is consists of two things first of all it consists of the intent which is going to be the user's intention right what the human being is going to do and then the action so the action is what the bot is supposed to do so that is the main aspect about the domain then again you the intent consists of just as we said all the intent that you use your natural language understanding the, to be able to classify right all those intents like greeting package goodbye all those other intents like weather location then example of the uh, intent is something like this so it's going to be in this format so intent maybe an example of a simple intent about greeting is hi how are you hey js what's up all those stuff then we need an example like maybe per packaging so buying i need to buy i want something i have i want to buy something like all of these things must connote the kind of intent the speaker or the user is going to say then the actions consist of so all these things are going to be our training data sets right so our intent is going to be used to build our training data set which is very important then our actions will have a template the message your bot can send so how is the message going to be the message is going to be the actions so if i say hi the bot is supposed to reply hey how are you right so that is an action the bot is going to do so these are going to be the other grid the other package and several of them and they must have a template a template of how it's supposed to be and this is how the template is going to be so a template the other grid then test of how hey how are you right sample sample of how the template is going to be so all these things are going to be our domain file our intent our actions and then the template is going to be what's going to be on our domain jml file and then our intent only is going to be on our training data set perfect hope you understand so the domain consists of the intent and then the actions and then the intent consists of what the user is going to do and the action is going to be what the bot is going to do this is how it's supposed to be and then the intent and actions and the template will be on our domain file and then our training data set is going to be our intent so now let's move back to collab so we have, have been able to understand what it is so let's go back to it so this is a summary of what we, we learned earlier on now let's see how our domain is going to be just like as we said our domain is going to consist of what our intent right our actions and then a template so we have our intent or the we are going to list all the intent and then the entities together and the slot is going to be used to track how it's going to do then we have the actions as i said earlier on then we have a template so our domain is our intent our intent our actions and then our template so our intent is here all the intent you are going to see our actions and our templates so several of the templates and this is going to determine how powerful or how intelligent your bot is going to be okay now let's save it in our .tml file perfect now you have been able to save it so now let's see how to train our dialogue so to train our dialogue we are going to use our rasa core to do that and then you need to have current characters installed and then tensorflow to use as a backend so so we're going to load out it our packages and the policies is just all the machine learning algorithm stuff that is the meaning of the policies so they have several policies that you can use so perfect now let's feed in our domain the universe right how the the universe that the bot is going to be into our agent so what is the agent the agent is the training bot the bot you are going to train so you are feeding our domain to our agent with our policy so to set up the agent so it's going to use tensorflow backend and it's going to give you some errors but you can still work on it then now we are going to feed our story into our agent right into the bot so how is how the story is going to be a sample of the story and it's going to use that story to train itself right okay so this is using epoch it's going to give us the loss as well as the accuracy of our model and it's going to take time so this is where all the errors is going to be <laughs> most often if your data set is not properly prepared so it's taking some time okay so so it's able to train it and it's going to build it layer upon layers right if you have used keras before it's going to build it based on layers you're going to use long short-term memory and it's going to build dense layers like these are the number of layers in the ship 
these are just kira stuff okay so these are the epoch and then this is the loss then the accuracy of the model as it trains over 0 0.9 0 0.09 as it goes as it builds on the layers it means to increase its accuracy and then decrease the loss so the final one is 400 which is quite plenty about 400 layers 400 epochs right so now it's 0 0.97 which is very accurate with a loss of 0 0.6 which is not that bad okay now we have been able to work with it now we have been able to build our model now we have to save our model because it's very important this is the model you are going to be using to build your bot so save our model with persist perfect you have saved in a particular location so to be in your drive so you can just check it and then download it now let's see how to work with our bot right so setting up our bot to set up our bot you are going to use the parser call the agent and then the model that you have created right so let's do it so from rasa core dot agent import agent the agent is the bot that is going to be used to load our data and then train our data right so agent is going to be agent dot load our data that our model that we saved the one that we trained for now it's not an intelligent bot because we have not given it more data set okay, perfect so let's see how what it's going to do so to practice or let's see how it's going to be I think I spot the practice wrong. <laughs> anyway, okay, it's not important. So this is a simple function. So your bot is ready to talk, or let's call it our Rasa bot, right? Rasa bot is ready to talk. So perfect. So just creating a, a while loop and going to keep it an input. And the stop where it's going to be stopped. You can change it to anywhere you want. It can be quit, it can be anywhere that you want. Perfect. So now let's see. So your Rasa bot is ready to talk. So let's start. So let's say hi, right? It's going to reply. Carry on. Uh, how are you? <laughs> how do you mean? <laughs> it's, it's usually based on the information that you fed it inside, right? Okay. So can you clarify? So I want to buy an iPhone. Good. How can I help you? <laughs> See what they're saying. Okay. I, I want an iPhone. That's what I want. So you're not quite sure what you want. <laughs> quite interesting. Let's give you something. So I, uh, I want iPhone. Let me spell iPhone go. So I think it's spelled like this, right? iPhone X, right? Carry on. <laughs> so like it keep on giving you information based on how you feed it. Let's start with something bad. So, uh, hi. Then it's, it's taking some time to load. Doesn't know what to do. <laughs> okay. How are you? Say, so how do you mean clarify? Carry on. Wow. So let's say not not good. Is a sad part. What do you mean? Can you clarify? So that's how it's going to be. So if you want to stop, just go with stop, right? But I think you're not clever now, so you can keep on training it. Perfect. So just stop. So you can use this one to be able to get an idea of how your message is supposed to be structured. Okay. So that is just a summary of how to do this chatbot. Now let's move on to how to give it more intelligence, right? So we'll be using natural language understanding and intent classification to be able to give it more data sets to be able to help it work well. 